today we're hopping on one of the fastest trains in the world. We took the world's first and most iconic bullet train from Osaka to Hiroshima, and it was a very Japanese experience. See the train conductor really bows. First, we'll show you the highlights from our days in Osaka, including why we waited four hours for food at this restaurant, followed by the ride on the Shinkansen. Let's get right into it. Good morning from Osaka. It's really crazy when you don't have breakfast included at your hotel or Airbnb, obviously, because I feel like it disrupts the whole day. It's one thing if you like to do intermittent fasting, but Oscar and I are both trying to gain weight, or especially me. Now I'm just like kind of nauseous. I have only eaten like a protein bar and a protein shake. This place is so cute. And it's macrobiotic, yeah. which is a big thing in Japan. Like the healthiest possible food we could have. So this is for curry spoon. Oh, this is noodle spoon. Awesome. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Ooh, la, la. Look at this incredible meal. It feels so wholesome. The rice is grown by the owner of this restaurant's dad. No, brother. Oh, brother. The curry is made from homemade curry spice. I mean, wow. Is it good? So, someone said online in a review that this was the best vegan cheesecake they have had in their lives. Oh my god. I don't know if that person was like exaggerating. Could be an American. Says that a So, let's see if this lives up to the hype. It's like more like what Swedish cheesecake is like. It's not like American cheesecake. Oh. Yeah, it's a different kind of cheesecake. I love it. We're Oscar and Dan, two Swedish guys who have been traveling the world together since we met in high school eight years ago. We just achieved our long time goal of visiting 100 countries last year and now we're back exploring some of our favorite countries on a deeper level before visiting country 101, 102 and beyond. Oh my god guys, if you saw our first video from Japan, this is the tree we were seated under when we were eating our carrot cake and stuff. And this whole tree was just in full bloom and now it's already starting to get green just a few days later. That was like six days ago. Yeah. And oh, my oh God. the family mark closest to our hotel. We went in just to check because we haven't been able to find it at anything since one family mark in Kyoto. Look what they have. We're okay, buying we should, them all. Yeah, let's buy up all stuff. This means we have to carry it around all day. Worst case, we'll just eat it all. Osaka is Japan's second largest city and is home to almost 3 million people. But the metro area, including Kyoto and Kobe, is home to over 19 million people. This is the biggest amount of foreigners we've seen since we came to Japan, even more than in Kyoto. Walking around here is very intense. I'm trying to channel the nature feeling we got from Nara. Guys, look at this madness. This is, I think, uh, like a rock climbing wall and they can race it up on this rail. After sharing our most memorable meal in Japan and which other online creators we ran into in Osaka, we'll hop on the Shinkansen and share what Japanese train travel is like. Trains are by far the most eco-friendly way to travel and Japan is the perfect place for it. And in the same spirit of sustainability... You see this plastic bottle? This is part of the 380 million tons of plastic produced globally each year, 50% of which is used to make single-use plastic like this one. Well, what if I told you that this bottle and dozens more like it are inside this laptop? A few months ago, we got an email asking if we wanted to try out Acer's new Chromebook Vero 514, a computer that incorporates recycled plastic in its design. Everything from the keyboard caps to the chassis, the touchpad, and even the packaging is largely made from recycled materials. We're so thankful that Acer is sponsoring today's video. This is our first time trying an Acer laptop, and we were so excited to try the sustainable approach to technology. It's super lightweight at only 1.4 kilos, and the computer runs on Chrome OS, which means super quick startup times and a battery life of up to 10 hours, which is great if you're spending a lot of time on your computer outside. It also has built-in malware protection, so it stops viruses in their tracks. So along with Acer, we want to invite you to join a 21-day challenge to make more eco-friendly decisions. And the best part is you can win one of these Chromebooks just by participating. Since our choices in the kitchen can have a huge impact on the environment, we want to inspire you to have as many plant-based meals as possible during these 21 days. You can join the challenge at the link at the top of the description. But now, let's hop on the Shinkansen. Okay, we're meeting up with some really special people right now and uh, we're meeting them at this uh, cafe, cafe that apparently LA. is underground. <laughs> people are raving about it online. Oh my god. 
I am too tall. <laughs> All right, we ended up not vlogging anything with uh, the people we met, but we met up with Claire and Peter. We had such a nice time with them, and now we're heading in the rain to a really famous okonomiyaki place. Is this it? We'll try to find it. That restaurant is like ridiculously popular. So already at 10 past when the opening was, it was already an over an hour line. We got a number and hopefully within maybe 90 minutes or so, we should get a table. It's so cozy just walking around here in the rain with the night lights. I don't even mind getting wet. <laughs> Okay, I'm having a bit of a breakdown. Some people get hangry. I don't get hangry, but I get super frustrated and uh, uneasy when I don't know when I'll get food when I'm hungry. I can wait a long time if I know it will come eventually, but right now we have no idea when we'll get there because we've been waiting for an hour and a half and only half the spots online in front of us have passed. So basically we could be waiting for another hour and a half. So yeah, right now um, it's a little bit frustrating. Since we've waited uh, so many, like pretty much all the restaurants have closed <laughs> or like the last order has passed so there's like no other food options <laughs> Okay, so we really couldn't wait any longer. I mean, we're gonna wait for our time, but in the meantime, we're gonna have another meal. So we're hitting up Moss Burger. We got our first dinner, it's a bit after eight. So hopefully our spot at the next restaurant comes through within an hour. And we're done, and there's some progress. After two hours. <laughs> Okay, we're headed there now. Still three people in front of us in line. This better be some of the best food we've ever had. <laughs> and there's still a really long physical line to get a spot in line. Yeah, Digital line. Queue. Yeah. <laughs> now it's not raining anymore at least and it's so cozy. It's so cozy here at night. Finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> this restaurant is run entirely by just one young girl, which is why the wait is so long. We just got our first dish. Ah, 9.40. That's a reasonable hour to start. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think it's incredible. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. And it's time for the main event. Our first real okonomiyaki of the trip. Ooh, wow. Well. Is it very hot? We only waited like three and a half hours for this, so. Four. Four. It's good. And put some mayo on. I like how she gives you the option whether or not you want mayo. I feel like this is very much a comfort food. <laughs> yeah. You love it, the mayonnaise? It sounds so much good. I just will never wait so long again. Bye! Wow, what an experience. Such a cool experience. Yeah. And she was amazing. She was so, so cute. I the restaurant was such a vibe. Yeah, yeah, such a vibe. It felt more like being in Berlin than in Osaka, to be honest. We're like more happy we waited all that time for the overall experience of having waited that long and then coming yeah. into a cute restaurant. And this girl who runs it entirely by herself cooks, a takes orders. Show. A and young it, girl, like yeah, maybe it, our age. Yeah, it really feels like a home cooked meal by a friend, you know? Yeah. So would we go to that place again? Probably not. Are we happy we did it once? Yes. yes. <laughs> and just like that, it's time to leave Osaka and head to our next stop in Japan, which I'm really, really excited about actually. But to get there, we're gonna use one of the most iconic modes of transport in the world. But first, we gotta get to Shin Osaka Station. We made it to Shinosaka Station. We found a place that's supposed to have vegan filled pancakes on Happy Cow. So we're gonna try to find it. So today, of course, we're taking the Shinkansen, which I think, I'm pretty sure it was the first bullet train in the world. And today I intentionally booked us on the fastest bullet train in all of Japan, which is the Nozomi. I I'm pretty sure it's the fastest. It's already noon and we haven't had any food today. So uh, in addition to this, Ben is buying some other stuff in a convenience store. But it's so random because literally all over Japan, they have 7-Elevens, Lawson's, and Family Marts pretty much everywhere. But here, for some reason, inside the Shinkansen like area, it's only other types of convenience stores that I have never seen anywhere. Else. Okay, so I'm tracking our train uh, and it's 
not even arrived in Kyoto yet, so we're pretty good on time. It's gonna arrive at 12.15, and then we have two minutes to board before it departs. The reason we're in the very last row is because we have a pretty big suitcase and I wasn't aware of this but apparently if you have like an oversized bag as they call it you need to sit in specific seats which are usually the first or last row in each car and so when I booked these tickets last night I was not able to select any seats in any car like we're all seemingly occupied and I was like what's going on like this can't be fully booked you know but then this morning I realized it's because I selected that we have an oversized bag and so I think the thing is you're only able to sit in certain rows if you select a bag because you need to store the bag like behind the seat free train in Ari oh on free you. train on Alright, our train is here! The seats are so upright, you can recline it yeah, on your armrest. We opted for the regular second class on this train, which we also did for the second ride onwards from Hiroshima to Fukuoka. Honestly, unless you're traveling really far or really want to feel special, there's no need to book first class or the so-called green car. They market it as the quiet part of the train, but let's be real. You're in Japan, so no one's going to be making any noise in the cabin anyway. It honestly feels 
surreal to be here. Like, and I don't really know what to feel. It feels a little eerie. And it just, I don't know, I'm very excited to explore Hiroshima. Our next video will be all about our visit to Hiroshima, a harrowing but incredibly educational experience that touched us on a deep level. This was one of our most profound travel experiences in a long time, so make sure you don't miss that next video. Until then, see you around the world.